Hi, this is Michael Rubin. We're talking about the chromatic harmonica, figuring out the layout, and we're just going to start right where we left off, so you may want to review Lesson 24 before you watch this video. Every time you push the button in, with one exception, the note goes higher in pitch one half step, or one keyboard note. So one blow is the note C, push the button in, you get C sharp, otherwise known as D flat. C, C sharp, or C, D flat. Now, it takes a little bit of thinking when people are saying, play a, play a G flat. You have to think, okay. What is one alphabetical letter before G? F. So I need to find an F and push the button in to make it G flat. So let's say the lick went G, G flat. Three blow is G, but to find the G flat you have to find the F to draw, and then I have to push the button in. To draw button is my G flat. So three blow, two draw button is G, G flat. Now you might remember that four blow and five blow are the same note. They're both C. The same thing happens on eight and nine blow. This means that when you push the button in, both those notes become C sharp or D flat. That means you have two C sharps right next to each other, four and five blow button, and eight and nine blow button. Two blow is the note E. What is one half step higher than E? Well, there's no black key in between E and F. Therefore, when you push the button in on two blow, the E becomes an F. That means that there are two F's right next to each other. There's two blow button and two draw. Do you hear that they're the same note? The same thing occurs on six blow and uh, ten blow. Um, six blow and ten blow are both E, so it push the button and you get F, and the draw note without the button is also F. Now, 4-draw is the note B. What is one half step higher than B? Well, there's no black key in between B and C, so when you push in 4-draw, B, it becomes C. The same thing happens on 8-draw, and the same thing probably should happen on 12-draw, but 12-draw is the exception on most chromatics, and we're going to talk about that in a minute. But let's keep thinking about 4-draw button. 4-draw button is C, and 4-blow and 5-blow are also C. That means you have three options for the note C. You may ask, when should I play which? And my answer is, it doesn't really matter. If you get a C note, that's good. However, you should recognize that there is a difference in tone between a blow note and a draw note. So become aware of those differences and choose the one that you want. Also, you may choose logistically. In this lick, it's easier if I play for draw with the button. You also may consider which uh, note enables you to bend nicely. I like the bends on the draw notes better, probably because I'm a, you know, a diatonic centric player. Although it is possible to bend on both blow notes and draw notes on the chromatic and also to consider your particular vibrato. My draw vibrato is much uh, nicer than my blow vibrato, so I will often choose to play four draw button or two draw without the button for my F. Now, 12 draw is where things get weird. 12 draw is the note B. If you push the button in, so far our logic says push the button in, it goes up one half step, one keyboard note. What is one half step higher than B? C. So logic says 12 draw with the button in should be C. But on Honer instruments and on many other instruments, when you push the button in on 12, it becomes D. And if you have a 16 hole chromatic, it's, it's hole number 16 that this happens on. The highest note on the harp is what I'm talking about. So 12 draw button is D. So that's a big difference. B to C is one note, but B to D is actually three notes higher. 
C, C sharp, D. One, two, three. So instead of going, you go, oh, excuse me. So like here's a eight draw, B to C, and here's 12 draw, B to D. Big difference. The reason why Honer does this is because 12 draw is the note B, 12 blow is the note C, and 12 blow button is the note C sharp. If they stuck with the regular pattern of push the button in and go up a half step, 12 draw button would be C. Therefore, the highest note on the harp would be C sharp. Since you already have a C in 12 blow, Horner gives you a D because that way, in 12 draw button, because that way the harp has one note higher pitch. So the range of the harp becomes a larger range. To me, it's a dubious help because what happens is if you have licks that include four draw button, for example, I have a very fast lick that includes four draw button. I can do it on eight draw, but I can't do it on 12 draw. There's no way I can play that lick as fast with 12 blow as my C. So I lose out on that lick. What I gain is two things. First off, I gain the ability to play that D note up high, and sometimes it's, it's nice to be able to have that extra note, and I do play it sometimes. But then, if I push, if I push and pull out the button real quick on my B to D, it sounds like this. The little birdie sound. Now, you know, a lot of our job as harmonica players is standing next to the singer-songwriter, listening for him to sing, waiting on a train, and then we... And then we get paid and go home. That's our real gig, is that, that one sound, the train. Well, the little birdie shows up in lyrics, too. So if you're listening, three little birds are out my window. You're the hero. The sad thing is, you know, if you learn one octave on the chromatic, you pretty much learn them all. So if you learn how to play down here, you learn here, you learn here, with the exception of that 12 draw button. Same thing with the octaves. You can play octaves up and down the harp, but up high doesn't work. So it's a it's a dubious choice that that uh, Honer makes, but um, but and the other the other problem is you know teaching this stuff to students, getting them to be comfortable jamming up high with that one that one hole, it's hard. Um, excuse me, burp. <laughs> but uh, but you can do it. So um, next time we're going to write out the twelve major scales for the chromatic. See you soon.